Uh, that's sad. That's sad. So recording at night on your 360 camera can be tricky. Uh, the thing is, on the 360 camera, I tell you some manual settings that can bring your footage a little bit better than what stock 360 camera can deliver to you. So if you set manual settings and the shutter at one uh, slash one. This month has been a little bit heavy, a little bit cursed on EUC riders, you can say. You ask why? Because two of my favorite personalities in EUC world, EUC community, got hurt. One got hurt physically, another got hurt emotionally. So there's a gentleman from Sweden, I'm sure everybody knows them, Mike, where is my food? YouTube channel is called Where is my food? His EUC was confiscated by police in Sweden. There's a video he made, link is in the, in the description and the top right corner. So I am big fan of this uh, YouTuber Mike. So I've been watching Mike's videos uh, since uh, I've been watching like since two, three years. And uh, he's like kind of an inspiration as well, has been an inspiration from London times, like when I was in London. And seeing his EUC being uh, taken away from him like that, uh, I'm kind of sad. Another bad news is Marty, Marty Becky. Ooh, dead bird, dead bird. We found a dead bird. So this is midnight and these are the midnight, midnight adventures. Uh, a dead bird, that's sad. That's sad. Looks like he's been electrocuted or something, I don't know and then ran over by a car or something, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, I was talking about, so I'm wearing these uh, Superman boots today. Um, this These boots, me wearing these boots, motorcycle protection, ankle protection, badass boot, wearing them has a reason. And that reason is, let, let's start, a little bit shaky start, because I'm not really, still used to these boots so mounting dismounting is still a little bit shaky on uh, these boots at the moment so yeah so second bad news i was talking about before bird uh, distracted us dead bird that uh, marty got hurt he managed to broke his ankle and Marty is kind of godfather, godfather of EUC community and one of the pioneers in the EUC community and he got hurt and then it gave me sadness like these two incidents both in month of July 2023 and I'm sure they will never gonna forget this this month and I want to contribute and submit my condolences and I want to say that I will remember this month too uh, for you guys because I love you both and you both got hurt one emotionally one physically and emotionally uh, so yeah we're doing this midnight ride on my badass like these boots motorcycle boots the make and model of these boots is uh, information is in the description of this video. So yeah, mounting dismounting still is a little bit shaky on these boots, but I'm trying to get used to it, used to them, and so I can wear them more and more on my rides. Uh, it's just just a matter of getting used to them uh, a little bit. I had to change a little bit of uh, setting of my pads as well because these boots are beefy. And yeah, so it's a midnight ride, late night ride. Like the time right now is 
11.45 or something between and we're just out on a late night adventure on the weekends and on the weekends I like to go out at late because it's quite two reasons one is a little bit cooler in Arizona it's been like over 20 days of listen carefully over 20 days of 115 Fahrenheit in the daytime 115 for more than 20 days so Arizona has been really really hot really really hot uh, weather is like melting so I can only ride at night due to intense heat and yeah let's go and uh, check this uh, by the way I have helmet mirror so I know what I'm doing when I stop and do these short turns okay so where do we go let's go to marketplace and have a little little round on the marketplace and see what's happening there so the marketplace looks empty quiet and as usual like uh... alright guys uh, district market this is a small market like a high fire like high end like um, rich people's uh, play area and it's empty at the moment and nobody here uh, it's a Sunday night always boring night it's Sunday midnight everybody needs to sleep and go to work okay let's pick up a pace because it's a incline and kind of ramp so where do we go now from here let's go back where we were so I resume our ride so I'm still getting used to these shoes like I said before like a broken record um, <laughs> These shoes are like I'm wearing some kind of snowboarding shoes, like even worse than that. Like, damn, my, I have no flexibility. Like, I feel like I've been choked. And that's the reason why I don't like to wear them that much because they are badass shoes. Like, it is like guaranteed, guaranteed protection for your ankle. Like this is the best guarantee you can get to protect your ankle uh, that is available in the current market which is motorcycle protection shoes but wearing them and enjoy your ride is a different question like if you got them on it is really tricky to enjoy your ride until unless you are really really used to them which, and which is what I'm about to do and that's the reason why I'm wearing this very loud exhaust car Man, at this time this is what you get loud exhaust cars and us nobody else so recording at night on your 360 camera can be tricky uh, the thing is on the 360 camera I tell you some manual settings that can bring your footage a little bit better than what stock 360 camera can deliver to you so if you set manual settings and the shutter at 1 uh, slash 100 and your ISO at 800 or 1200 depending on how bad 
lighting it is and EV to zero then you can get a little bit better footage on your 360 camera at night time so I'm using like 360 camera with one inch sensor uh, dual one inch sensor but still you can see the footage is like crappy like that's the reason why I don't like to record at night but since we are running out of options because at daytime if I do these kind of activities I will be melting down because the temps are unbearable like really really hot the temps are absolutely not humanly possible to ride for hour one hour in those sun and killer heat that's why we are riding at night and recording our video at night oh man so i'm just doing a random ride like going everywhere wherever wind takes us so this is a wind riding my backlight mode is awesome like i converted this light into red light and it's doing magics i don't think anybody can miss me uh, unintentionally with this backlight powerful backlight okay i have ridden like uh, 10 miles and now i'm actually liking these shoes these shoes come with their own benefits uh, number one benefit that i have noticed is it gives you boost to your skinny legs if you have skinny legs like me like you know, these these boots gonna give you uh, power like strength now when before my when my wheel used to go through some track lines and cracks on the road it you know wheel always does this like go sideways and for tries to follow those cracks on the roads and with these boots because these boots have a lot of reinforcement around it and it's coming all the way up to my knee and so my legs are feeling a little bit of power so when wheel try to hit on the one side these boots keep wheel helping me keep wheel uh, straight uh, I don't know how to explain this better way but I hope you know what I mean so and this these boots are giving me more confidence of uh, to carve and uh, I don't know but my mounting and dismounting is still is dodgy and I still need some practice on uh, these shoes these boots nice see like this this particular patch you know you always have one of those patches and roads and blocks near your uh, place of residence where you know this patch is dodgy your wheel always tries to follow cracks and uneven surface uh, on that particular patch this is one of those and I'm riding on this patch and wheel is trying to follow those cracks on the road like this one but these boots are fighting like these boots have given me a necessary fat on my legs and necessary strength in my legs to control wheel from dying on side to side <sighs> it's really a nice peaceful peaceful like uh, soul searching ride midnight ride so there are two types of uh, late night ride therapies one is with a partner like another fellow rider and there is another therapy that is solo late night ride that is something else i'm telling you so ooh, see this is this is the patch i was talking about oh wow my wheel tries to follow that crack and my legs now have a boosted strength to keep wheel straight so what that what what does that mean that means more confidence and more reason to be stupid and ride fast 
So let's ride a little bit faster now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So now we are far, far away from our home. I think we should turn around. So if you like videos like this one, like late night adventures, uh, hit like button and this will give me feedback and positive uh, uh, encouragement and uh, necessary boost to make more and more videos like this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.